If you want to be able to fix your Volkswagen or you want anyone online to take your car skills seriously, you better learn how to use a multimeter. What can a multimeter do for you? Well, for the purpose of this video, three things. One, voltage, get voltage. Two, measure resistance, important, especially on your diesels. Three, check for continuity. Those are the things you need to know. Whoa, 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 hold on. What is a multimeter? Oh, well, I guess that's your first question. Multimeter is basically just a tool that combines a bunch of other tools into one thing. Hence, multi. Multi-meter. Has a voltmeter. Has an amp meter. Has a bunch of other stuff which you don't need to worry about. Here's your standard run-of-the-mill multimeter. Get it anywhere. The settings you care about are that one. The little V with a line and some dots under it. That's for voltage. That measures direct current. Voltage. Second one you need to worry about is that symbol, the little omega symbol. That stands for ohms. That's how we'll measure resistance. And finally, the one under the omega symbol, the ohm symbol, is this little thing. It seems like a radio antenna with a triangle on a line. It means something, who cares? Other stuff, there's a lot of other crap on here. That V right there with the squiggly line, that's for alternating current. If you're fixing your house, that's what you want. But if you're on your car, don't use that one. It's not gonna work. Let's start with the easy one, voltage. Here's your car battery, 12 volt battery. To understand how voltage works, all we need to do is set our multimeter to voltage. Take your leads, one on positive, one on negative. Now your multimeter, which is set to voltage, is showing me that I have 13 volts in this battery. Now that's a really easy example. So let's say someone tells you, check the voltage at the pump. What do you do? This lift pump has a pretty sketchy looking plug. It looks like it's been repaired before. I'm gonna check for power by putting the leads in the outside pins, one of which should have power and one of which should have ground. Turn the ignition on and nothing. This plug is dead. There is no power at the pump. Now this assumes you know which pin needs to have power. So hopefully you have a wiring diagram that way you can tell which pin should have 12 volts on it. If you're trying to measure voltage, you always have to have the negative lead on a good ground. The whole chassis of the car is grounded, so most of the metal will give you a ground, but there are a few ground points that you can use which will give you an even better result. They'll have these brown wires going into some sort of nut that's attached to the, to the chassis. This is a ground location. So if you're trying to diagnose a sensor or a wiring loom and you need a good ground, take a look around. These are scattered throughout the car. If you use these, you're gonna get a really good reading. If you try to use metal, a piece of painted metal, your readings are not gonna be very good. Number two, resistance. We're gonna set our multimeter to the ohm symbol, the little omega. What does ohms mean? It's complicated, look it up. Checking resistance is most often used on diesels when you're checking glow plugs. Let's get a glow plug. Here's our glow plug. We're gonna test resistance on the glow plug which means we need to measure the resistance between the body of the plug and the tip of the, of the glow plug. 0.9 ohms. That's pretty good. Here's another plug, an older plug from Mercedes. Same thing. Just around an ohm. You need to know what your glow plug should read. Generally speaking, if a glow plug ohms out around an ohm or... Quick side note. Ohm it out, the phrase ohm it out, just means get the resistance of. The thing to watch out for are glow plugs that either have no resistance, which means it's an open circuit and the circuit is bad, or if this goes really, 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 really high, that'll also tell you that the glow plug itself is bad. Here's one installed in an engine. Put one lead on top of the glow plug and the other lead against the engine blocker, in this case, the head. Zero ohms mean this glow plug is bad. Lastly, continuity. That just means, are the wires actually connected to anything? Here you can see I've got my multimeter on the setting for continuity. You'll see that the screen still has the ohm symbol on it. That's basically because when you're checking for continuity, you're basically just checking for ohms. What makes the two settings different? Basically just a beeper. When you put these together, the machine will beep at you. Here's a great example of continuity by checking fuses. I've got a good fuse and a bad fuse. 
Check out the good fuse first. 0.4 ohms, 0.3 ohms, that means it's connected. Bad fuse. Nothing. If you're measuring no resistance, that means that that circuit is not connected. You may also have heard, quite common, people saying, check the grounds on your battery. Well, hey, it's grounded. That's not what they mean. You need to check continuity and resistance between the negative side of your battery and the one on the side of the car, which I talked to you about. Oh, it's beeping. So yeah, continuity and ohms are kind of the same thing in that continuity means is the wire connected, but that's also connected to ohms because if the wire is connected but it has a lot of resistance, it's going to cause you a lot of problems. That's it. That's as short as I can make this video. These are the three basic skills you need to have with your multimeter to be able to diagnose your car. There's obviously stuff I missed. Don't get upset if I didn't cover what you wanted to cover. There's obviously more complicated stuff, but that's going to be a longer video and I don't have time for that right now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel to get all the latest diesel videos that I make in your inbox.